NASA scientists have recently uncovered some jaw-dropping discoveries on Ceres, the largest dwarf planet in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. For years, astronomers had wondered what existed beyond our planet's blue pale dot. Therefore, these discoveries bring us closer than ever to unlocking this cosmic mystery of what lies in deep space. Featuring remarkable images captured by its Dawn spacecraft, scientists now have an uncanny new perspective of this distant world. It has mesmerizing beauty and subtle mysteries, suggesting something unknown beyond our present scientific comprehension. Nonetheless, what could these new enigmatic findings be that have shocked even space experts? This video covers the exciting details about the new, terrifying discoveries on Ceres that shocked NASA. Keep tuned for these discoveries, especially number 8, which is pretty mind-blowing. Also, remember to like this video and leave a comment below, and subscribe to this channel to access more similar videos. Number 1. The Discovery of Cirelia Facula Ceres was initially discovered by astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi in 1801, but was lost for over 50 years until it was rediscovered in 1851 by Johann Galle. Since then, its secrets have been gradually revealed by modern advances in astronomy. In 2015, NASA's Dawn spacecraft became the first space probe to orbit around Ceres, taking detailed images of the surface and studying its composition in greater detail than ever before. NASA scientists were shocked by their recent discoveries on the dwarf planet Ceres. With advances in technology and interplanetary exploration, NASA's researchers through the Dawn mission were able to uncover a large bright spot. This spot has been identified as one of the solar system's brightest areas. It is known as Cerelia Facula. Cerelia Facula is located at the heart of the Ocator Crater's 90-kilometer diameter area, offers a unique insight into Ceres. This 15-kilometer wide spot is not composed of ice, but an intriguing mixture reflecting light like dirty snow. It is primarily sodium carbonate, salt residue, and ammonium chloride from what may be slushy brine beneath its surface. Furthermore, this bright spot appears to vary in intensity from time to time, adding to its mysterious properties. While more investigations are still needed, this discovery adds another layer of curiosity for researchers attempting to piece together the puzzle behind our solar system's celestial bodies. Number 2. Ceres is composed of a rocky core, an icy mantle, and a crust of water ice. Usually for an asteroid, Ceres has a differentiated internal structure consisting of a rocky core, an icy mantle, and a crust of water ice. Its core is believed to be composed primarily of silicates, such as olivine, pyroxene, and magnesium sulfide. This dense rock material is thought to make up around 30% of Ceres' total mass. Meanwhile, its icy mantle could be composed of water ice mixed with other substances, such as carbon dioxide and ammonia hydrates. The mantle is estimated to account for 40 to 50 percent of Ceres' mass. Lastly, its icy surface crust may contain hydrogen sulfide and carbonates. These were detected during observations from spacecraft during the NASA's Dawn mission. The rocky core and the icy mantle were also believed to be surrounded by 200-kilometer-thick water ice shell that makes up about 20% of the total mass. Ceres' composition has led many scientists to believe it may hold valuable clues about the formation process in our solar system's early days. It may offer insights into how planets were formed from materials found in the early photoplanetary disk surrounding the Sun billions of years ago. These recent studies indicate that much more research must be done to gain further insight into this fantastic world far beyond Earth's atmosphere. By conducting additional observations, we can continue answering questions surrounding what lies beneath its mysterious surface. This is while expanding our understanding of our universe even further. Number 3. Ceres is home to a massive ocean that contains more fresh water than all the oceans on Earth combined. 
The discovery of an immense ocean deep beneath the surface of the dwarf planet Ceres has astounded astronomers and space researchers. In a study published in Nature Astronomy, researchers discovered that this ocean contains more fresh water than the amount of fresh water found in all of Earth. This massive body of liquid is estimated to be between 9 and 22 miles deep, making it more profound than any water body on our planet. The ocean is likely kept warm enough to maintain liquid by heat generated from Ceres' core. Its core is believed to contain a small amount of radioactive material. Scientists believe that the temperature at the bottom of this subterranean sea could reach up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. This ocean contains more fresh water than Earth's water bodies, and it may also host some forms of life. Since Ceres lacks an atmosphere, bacteria and other organisms would have evolved to thrive under extreme pressure and in complete darkness. As such, they could survive in a liquid-filled environment with temperatures reaching hundreds of degrees Fahrenheit. These conditions cannot be found anywhere else in our solar system. The presence of such an enormous ocean on such a distant world as Ceres serves as a reminder that our solar system is still full of surprises, ones waiting for us to uncover them through further exploration and research. Scientists are now working towards sending robotic spacecrafts equipped with specialized instruments to explore this newfound ocean and hopefully make remarkable discoveries. Number 4. Ceres has a very thin atmosphere, which consists mostly of water vapor. NASA scientists have found that Ceres has a very thin atmosphere, consisting primarily of water vapor. This is an extraordinary revelation, as previous research suggested that such a small body could not hold on to an atmosphere. This groundbreaking find was made public in February 2018, when scientists used data from the European Space Agency's Herschel Space Observatory mission to study the atmosphere of Ceres. The results showed that it contained much more water vapor than expected. This suggests that Ceres may have been home to large amounts of ice and organic material during its earliest stages of formation, something that was previously thought impossible for such a small celestial body. The presence of water vapor on Ceres can be explained by its unique composition. It includes ingredients like saltwater ice, organic compounds, dust particles, metal-rich clays, sulfides, and heavy elements such as iron and nickel. As these materials get heated up by solar radiation, they release gases that get trapped near the surface due to gravity, forming an atmosphere around the dwarf planet. The low temperatures on Ceres means that this atmosphere is extremely thin, about 10 billion times thinner than Earth's atmosphere. Interestingly enough, this atmospheric pressure is still enough for some processes like erosion or condensation to take place, meaning there is likely to be active geology happening on the surface of Ceres right now. This could explain why we see bright spots deep within some impact craters on the surface, evidence of material being recycled and redistributed by slow geological processes over long periods. Number 5. Ceres has several interesting features, including craters, mountains, and valleys. The most apparent feature of Ceres is its numerous craters. These craters were created by impacts from asteroids and other meteoroids that have slammed into Ceres' surface over the years. Scientists from NASA and beyond believe these craters are some of the oldest on any known body in our solar system, often more than 4 billion years old. The impact sites also tell us a story about Ceres' past, with some researchers believing that it was once much larger than it is today, perhaps even as large as an additional planet. In addition to these craters, impressive mountains can be found on Ceres' surface. These massive peaks are likely volcanic in origin and can range from approximately 2 kilometers in height to 8 kilometers at their highest points. This is quite surprising considering the size of Ceres itself. Most mountains this high would be found on much larger worlds, such as Earth or Mars. If these two features aren't enough, there are also deep valleys across the face of Ceres. These valleys may have been caused by glacial erosion or subsurface water flow, both evidence that Ceres had a far colder environment at one point in time. These valleys could still contain liquid water below their icy surfaces today. Number 6. The volcanic mountains on Ceres' surface are active. 
NASA's recent surveys of Ceres revealed active volcanic mountains, indeed an unprecedented discovery. According to a study published in Nature Astronomy, the interior of this tiny world is likely not hot enough to generate cyclovolcanic eruptions, the eruptions of icy material, and generate mountains up to 1.3 miles high. Found in the Okator Crater, scientists have obtained evidence that this volcano is still spewing out water vapor and dust particles thousands of miles into space. This incredible this incredible finding has forced researchers to reassess their understanding of volcanic activity within the solar system. The Okator Crater was previously thought to be 1 to 2 million years old, but further investigations have found evidence that it could have been formed much more recently. It's astounding to believe that a volcano of such a distant planet could still be active after all this time. To confirm this hypothesis, scientists then used laboratory simulations to test their assumptions about what could be happening beneath Ceres surface. They found that temperature rises were consistent with lava being welled up from deep within the dwarf planet's interior, a sign of ongoing volcanic activity. To date, four large volcanic center sites have been found on Ceres' surface. Ahuna Mons, Haulani Crater, Karaman Crater, and Dervara Crater. Each site has its unique characteristics, revealing different levels and types of activity. For example, Ahuna Mons appears to have undergone intense recent activity, with tall edifices and fractures in indicative of fluid-driven processes. On the other hand, Haulani Crater shows evidence of a long history of episodic eruptions, which have been covered by dust from other sources, such as impacts or landslides. Most planets and moons don't experience active geological features like these. Still, the presence of liquid saline water combined with moderate temperatures allows for vast realms of activity beneath this alien surface. This startling new insight into our solar system suggests that even small planetary bodies can host dynamic geology and continues to captivate researchers everywhere. Number 7. Ceres accounts for approximately one-third of the total mass of the entire asteroid belt. The discovery of the dwarf planet Ceres has revolutionized our understanding of the asteroid belt. This huge celestial body orbits the Sun between Mars and Jupiter and accounts for about one-third of the total mass of the entire asteroid belt. It was first discovered by Italian astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi on the 1st of January 1801 while searching for a star with his small telescope. He immediately realized its significance and named it after Ceres, the Roman goddess of agriculture, an apt name given its large size compared to other asteroids like Pallas, Juno, and Vesta. Ceres is 900 40 kilometers in diameter, making it significantly more extensive than other asteroids in our solar system. It's also much more massive than its smaller counterparts, weighing about 9.4 times 1,020 kilograms, enough to make up almost one-third of the estimated 3 times 1,021 kilograms mass of all asteroid belt material combined. Surprisingly, despite its sheer size, Ceres is far less dense than most rocky planets or moons. This means that much of its interior is probably made up of icy water or other volatiles such as methane or ammonia rather than solid rock. Number 8. The Discovery of the Presence of Organic Compounds the recent discovery of the presence of organic compounds in Ceres has been a significant breakthrough for space exploration. As part of the Dawn mission to explore asteroids, Ceres was chosen as one of its targets, and what was found was certainly unexpected. Organic molecules containing oxygen and hydrogen atoms were found on Ceres' surface by scientists analyzing data from the Dawn mission. This is significant because organic molecules are essential for life, so it's possible that they originated from elsewhere in our solar system, or even outside of it. This groundbreaking discovery suggests that this type of molecule could exist on planets, moons, or asteroids elsewhere in our universe. Organics on Ceres imply that it may have been impacted by water at some point. This further supports theories suggesting that water may be abundant in other parts of the solar system than previously thought. The study also revealed evidence of carbonate materials and hydrated salts on Ceres' surface. Carbonates are essential components for life, too. They form in the presence of liquid water and can provide energy sources for living organisms. Hydrated salts are formed when materials interact with water over time and can act as a buffer against temperature changes. 
This finding suggests that there may have been liquid water on the dwarf planet at some stage. Considering how great a boom this discovery is for space exploration efforts, there's no wonder why it has attracted so much international interest. The interest is particularly from NASA, which intends to continue researching series composition to uncover more secrets about our universe. With future explorations planned around other small bodies within our solar system, such as comets or asteroids, Eros or Vesta, we're sure to learn much more about our environment's potential for hosting other forms of life beyond Earth soon enough. The discoveries made by NASA on Ceres have opened up a new universe of possibilities. In an age where space exploration is more accessible than ever, these startling facts on Ceres can provide even more evidence of our growing understanding of the solar system's inner workings and the potential for life beyond our planet. While we may lack a definitive answer to whether or not life form exists on this distant dwarf planet, one thing is for sure. We are living in an era of scientific progress. With every passing day, we get closer to greater insight and understanding into the many mysteries of our cosmic neighborhood. With so much left to explore in our universe, it will be exciting to follow the developments on Ceres and investigate what lies beneath its icy surface. We hope that this video on the terrifying discoveries on Ceres that shocked NASA has been valuable to you and offers better insight into the happenings in our solar system. Kindly like this video, leave a comment below, and subscribe to this channel for more educative and exciting videos.